In ancient China, there was a big monastery where around 500 monks lived. They were all learning how to understand themselves and find the truth under the guidance of their Zen master. One day, a man arrived at the monastery with a strong desire to become a disciple. He told the Zen master that he wanted to discover the truth and know himself better. The Zen master looked at him and said, if you truly want to find the truth, you must be willing to dedicate your entire life to it. In this lifetime, you'll come to know the truth. Are you ready for this journey? The man replied confidently, I've come here with the intention to stay and learn. I am ready. The master said, if that's the case, here's what you must do. We have 500 monks here. Your task will be to pound rice for them. Just keep doing this from morning till evening, and when you're tired, rest and sleep. Then start again in the morning. Focus only on this task. Don't think about anything else, and don't come to me again. I'll come to you when needed. The young man began his rice pounding duty as instructed by the master. In the monastery, there were 500 disciples who needed food, so the man had to grind rice every day, from morning till night. Whenever he felt tired, he would sleep in the same room. He didn't talk to anyone, and no one disturbed him. In the beginning, his mind was full of thoughts, but as time passed, those thoughts started to fade away. After a few years, he even forgot his own name. He worked quietly, grinding rice without any distractions. He didn't read any spiritual texts or practice meditation. The other monks, especially the chief disciples, considered him to be insignificant compared to them. Twelve years went by in this way. After twelve years, the Zen master announced that he was approaching the end of his life and needed to choose his successor, someone who had truly realized themselves. He asked any disciple who felt they had achieved this to come and write a few lines near his door that night, expressing their experience. Many disciples thought about doing it. One of the chief disciples, who was well versed in Buddhist scriptures, went and wrote a set of lines. He was highly respected for his knowledge and was seen as a possible successor. His line said, The mind is like a mirror, on which the dust of thoughts and desires accumulates. By clearing away this dust, meditation is achieved. When the mirror of the mind is clear, one attains salvation. When the Zen master saw these lines the next morning, he became furious and asked who had written this nonsense on his wall. Although the lines were wise, they lacked real understanding. The chief disciple remained silent. Even though the chief disciple's lines were well crafted, they were only based on intellectual knowledge. He had not truly experienced the essence of those words himself. Because he wasn't sure of their validity, he hadn't signed his name below them. As a result, the Zen master rejected those lines completely, surprising everyone in the monastery. Two other disciples, discussing this incident, encountered the man who had been pounding rice for twelve years. They were surprised to see him smiling and asked why. They found him unimportant because he never seemed to read scriptures or meditate. He answered, I'm laughing because the master is right. Those lines are indeed garbage. Astonished, they asked if he could come up with better lines. He replied, I can't write because I'm not educated, but I can say something. If you write it down, I'm willing to share it. They agreed, and they went to the master's room. The rice pounder said his lines, and the other disciple wrote them on the wall. They added, rice pounder, below the lines. They expected the master to react the same way as before. However, this time the master's response was different. The lines the rice pounder spoke were profound. The mind is an illusion. There's no mind, no mirror of the mind. And without the mind, where can the dust settle? One who understands this has grasped the truth. The Zen master saw these lines and immediately went to the rice pounder in the middle of the night. He woke him up, gave him his robe and belongings, and said, you are my successor now. Take these, but leave this monastery immediately. Go far away, because the other scholars here won't accept that you, a simple rice pounder, have achieved enlightenment while they haven't. They might even harm you. You possess what I possess, and wherever you go, people will be drawn to you, like the fragrance of a blooming flower. 
the rice pounder humbly accepted and left the monastery that night. In our lives, we often think that meditation requires sitting in a certain posture with closed eyes. However, this story teaches us that meditation can happen in different ways. By focusing our attention away from our own selves and on something else, we can find happiness and discover the truth. It's not just about sitting in meditation, but also about practicing mindfulness in our daily activities. And this is the end of the story. In the context of the scriptures, once Gautama Buddha also said to his disciple Malik Putra, the day the thoughts cease to arise in your mind, on that day you will experience the truth. You will understand this universe. And this is the first step towards attaining Buddhahood.